Next, an academy in Hereford which focuses on students with educational difficulties is facing closure and has issued a plea to help it stay open. The Robert Owen Academy has lost its government funding after poor Ofsted reports and warnings over its finances. Its principal is hoping the school could stay open if it pursues a new direction. Melissa White explains. For students here, this school offers something different, a chance to develop their skills where before they may have struggled. But low pupil numbers and the school's Ofsted reports and financial situation mean Robert Owen Academy has lost its government funding, and that's thrown its future and those of its pupils into doubt. But the Academy's principal insists the school faces very particular challenges. We take in people who are close to being excluded from their current schools, who haven't been to school yeah, for a number of years, and who we have to re-engage. Also, we're hammered once again by Ofsted, who will judge us against the ordinary standards. Um, we take people whose attendance is 30% are non-existent, and maybe convert them to 60 or 70%, still below the national benchmark, so we're criticised for that. Bradley is one of the pupils who's found his feet here. His parents say the school has turned his education around. He's doing really well. I've had really good feedback at all of his parents' evenings about his behaviour, everything. And the school's made a real big difference to him. It'll be an agonising few months for those that rely on this academy as they only have until August to find an alternative source of funding. But the academy's principal does have an idea, not just to secure the academy's financial future, but to take it in a whole new direction. The South Gloucestershire and Stroud Academy Trust has agreed in principle to take on the school, turning it into a centre specialising in cyber security. Current pupils here would be able to finish their education and those to come would hopefully be able to make their mark in a crucial modern industry. The stumbling block, it seems, is money. The school owes the government half a million pounds. We fell below the targeted amount of pupils that we've got and we built up a cumulative debt. That cumulative debt can, in all fairness, be transferred to South Gloucester and Stroud. It is not their debt to take on. They're willing to take on the goodwill, they're willing to take on the responsibility of the students we've got, but to burden them with the debt is, is clearly a bridge too far. The school is hoping the Department for Education could help them manage their debt, perhaps by turning them into a university technical college with additional funding. In a statement, the department said they continue to work with the Robert Owen Academy Trust to ensure there's minimal disruption for pupils. They add that more information will be available in due course. Staff here fear closing the school would be a loss locally and a squandered opportunity to ensure its future. It would be heartbreaking, not only for the pupils and the staff that are here, but also for the potential generations to come afterwards, that this opportunity, unique as it is, would be, would be missed. For now, all they can do is wait and hope that the summer doesn't see the Academy close its doors for the last time. Melissa Wright, ITV News, Hereford. 45